Hi everyone, I'm doing a series of videos to share what my two-year-old daughter is doing for developing early math skills. So this will be a six-part series and in these videos I'll share various math curricula like Singapore Early Bird Kindergarten Math, MTS Preschool Math Curriculum and some others. The way I have set these videos up is to just start off with a bit of background information about the math curriculum and then give an example of how I do the lessons with my two-year-old daughter. I will leave the links to the other videos in the description box below. So this is the first video in this series and I'm going to start off with the Mathematical Reasoning Beginning Level 1 by the Critical Thinking Company. You can purchase this as a hard copy or as an ebook. I just ended up getting the ebook and printing it at home. I did laminate the pages to make them more durable and so that I can use a dry erase marker on them, but you certainly don't have to do that. I bought this about 3 years ago and used it with my son when he was about 2 and since then he has thoroughly enjoyed the whole mathematical reasoning series. If you haven't come across the Critical Thinking Company before, they're definitely worth checking out because they have got some amazing educational resources for different subjects and I use quite a few of their books in our homeschool for both of my kids. The Mathematical Reasoning series covers a wide variety of topics such as counting, ordering, comparing and estimating, addition, subtraction, geometric shapes, fractions, patterns and a whole lot more. It's also very colourful and engaging. My daughter just completed this level and she thoroughly enjoyed it and she's super keen to start the next. So that's really fantastic. Now before moving on to how we actually do it, I just wanted to point out that my daughter has already learned to supertize. It's something that we have been working on and is part of Rice Start Mathematics, which is another fantastic math curriculum. And I have done reviews on that before, but the reason why I'm mentioning that here is because sometimes when the instructions say to count, she just supertizes instead. Which is actually really great and really helpful when she is doing these activities, especially addition and subtraction because she can straight away mentally visualize the quantities without having to count. Being able to recognize quantities without having to count is a very important skill to develop. It's also quick and will help later down the track. And honestly, it really is an essential part of developing that number sense. How many birds are on the cat? Three. That's right. If one bird flew away, how many birds would be left on the cat? Two. That's right. Can you circle that number? How many apples are on the tree? Right. If two apples fell to the ground, how many apples will be left on the tree? That's right. Can you circle that number? Good job. There were this many pennies inside the bank, but I lost two pennies. Can you cross out two pennies? How many pennies are left? That's right, can you circle number three? There were this many gumballs in my pocket, but I lost three gumballs. Can you cross out three gumballs? How many gumballs are left? That's right, can you circle number two? There were this many fish inside my fish tank, but my cat ate two fish. Can you cross out two fish? How many fish are left in the tank? Three. That's right. Can you circle three? Number three. That's right. There were this many dogs in our yard, but four dogs left. Can you cross out four dogs? How many dogs are left? One. That's right. Can you circle number one? Wait, 
What animal is first in line to swim in the water? What animal is third in line to swim in the water? That's right. What animal is fifth in line to swim in the water? Yeah, that's it. What animal is second in line to swim in the water? That's it. What animal is fourth in line to swim in the water? That's it. Good job. Can you count the stars? One, two, three. Can you find the number three? That's right. Can you circle the red star? And the color? Yeah. Okay. How many squares do we have? That's right. Can you find number four? Yes. Can you also circle blue and green squares? Can you count the dogs? One, two, three, four, five. That's right. Can you find number five? Can you circle the brown and yellow dogs? Balloons. Can you circle number four? Can you circle the balloon with the shortest string? Draw a line segment to show how you would share half of the foods in each picture. That's right. What about the next one? Yeah. What about the apple? How would you share that? Like this. Right. And what about the other one? I hope this video has been helpful and thanks a bunch for watching.